1963. The Weed Cougars ended the football season on top. Cougar football players say going undefeated and becoming the top-ranked team in Northern California is an experience they'll always remember. Larry Blankenship was the quarterback of that team, a senior in 1963. It was amazing to, to play with a group of guys that, you know, without much talent and, you know, for a small town like Weed, I mean, it just, I can look back on it with pride. Blankenship still lives in the Northern California city. He says watching his community lose so much during the Bulls fire is something he'll never forget. I basically saw the fire start. It was like walking into a, a war zone. You know, everything just burned and, you know, rubble left of what, you know, what, what you grew up with, you know, and that was hard. It was very hard. The Cougars won all nine games in 1963, winning 27 straight over the span of three years between 1961 and 63. The streak vaulted them to heights they couldn't imagine, beating teams like Eureka with 90 players compared to the Cougars' 30. We're going to give them a whooping. But my dad told me one thing. You can only put 11 players on the field and I'll take the 11 that we have. And that's kind of the way we felt about you know, each other as a team. Medford resident David Steele lived in Yuba City in the early 60s and ironic. enjoyed watching the Cougars' talent sweep through big and little schools. He wants to see that team get the credit it deserves. Steele's goal, getting the Cougars into the Northern California Sports Hall of Fame. Steele's motivation, Yuba City's football team of that year just made it into the history books. Blankenship and Steele say getting into the Hall of Fame can lift the spirit in the community even more as rebuilding from the Bulls fire rolls on. When we played Reno over there, you couldn't hardly buy a gallon of gas and weed because everybody was there, you know, watching the, the game. So that's the kind of support we, this community doles out to each other. Hall of Fame or not, Blankenship says that team is something the town can be proud of whenever it looks back on its past. Covering your news, Aaron Nilsson, News 10.